Hello and a warm welcome and thank you for joining us to Sunrise at Sea. I'm going to be teaching you how to make pancakes. Not English pancakes, not American pancakes, not Chinese pancakes, but I'm going to be teaching you how to make the original loco kabalagala. Now apparently kabalaga, when I was reading actually the history, it came up from other Nubians and they used to call it kabal, kabalagara. For, for them it had a G. But some of the ingredients you need, and many people like to actually eat this, for many, when they eat this pancake, they do not have to eat any other meal. And the ingredients are actually about four. You need cassava flour, you need some yellow bananas, and me, I love to put milk in my kabalagala. I do not know about you. Again, it depends on how best they taught you how to make this. My mom told me, for some people, they actually don't put sugar. Other people put sugar. Other people prefer the sweetness that comes from the bananas. So what, you, what I'm going to do first is, of course, I'll peel my bananas. So there we are. We have bananas in there. You can see right there. Yeah. So next, I'm going to use a mingling stick even before I use a whisker to just um, sort of try and soften them, yes? Uh, so when I'm done with that, I'm going to add a bit of milk inside my mixture. Just a little bit. A little bit. Yes. Like I said, if you do not want to put milk, you do not have to put milk. But I, I need to put milk because I want to make sure that the mixture, I just want to make sure that it's quite tasty. Okay. This actually simplifies your work, especially if you want something that is really smooth and it doesn't have so much particles. Uh, I'm going to add a bit of uh, baking powder. And then now, the thing about baking powder is it makes the kalabag... Kalab eh, anage. Kabalagala. It makes the kabalagala to swell up a bit. So it depends. If you want to put, if you want to make sure that maybe you have a bigger surface on it, you can just add a bit of baking powder. And then I'm going to put a bit of uh, bicarbonate soda. Yes. Um, you just And you need to measure. You don't want to put so much in there. You're just going to have to measure just a bit and make sure that it's not so much. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a bit of it. Yeah. That should do. And then I am going to get my flour. This is my cassava flour, and I'm going to add it to, to my mixture here. So again, I said it depends on uh, how much you want to make. If you want to make uh, just a bit. Oh, that's very interesting. So I'm just going to mix it. I'll go back to my mingling stick. Um, so that right there is our dough for Kabalagala this morning. Before you even start making, before you even start making it, you need to test and be sure that it has the right amount of milk. Probably, if you need to add sugar, if the bananas were not so ripe. So. Um, What is missing? Um, let me see this again. I think I'm just going to have a, to add a bit of sugar. Yeah, I'm just going to have to add a bit of sugar to 
because it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Okay, so we're going to put this away. You want to make sure that your kitchen space is well organized and you don't have so much going on there. So I'm going to leave my machine here just in case I need it and I'm going to take this away. Hmm. So I'm going to add um, a bit of bananas because I realize there is a bit of sweetness missing in there. Now it's very important that you test even before you start making. When you look at it, it looks like it's thick, almost reaching the thickness level that you want it to reach. If it's a bit too watery or too soft, you can add a bit of flour. Now, this is just like the way you make chapati. I mean, if, if, if you want to make chapati, you have to make sure that your dough is mixed properly. So, oh, oh dear, okay. Okay. Simple. Amazing. So before I even touch it, I'm going to wash my hands again because I've been touching so many things. So now I'm going to prepare to uh, put my, my mixture on here. I've just washed my hands so you don't have to worry. And I'm just going to do this and put it right here. Yes. I'm going to have my flour. Just in case I need to add or even make it a bit lighter. A bit harder, I beg your pardon. And tough dough. I don't want it to be as very soft again. So I'm just going to do this. Just make sure that it is well done. Now if you realize it's quite sticky, that means you need to add a bit of uh, flour. That's, this is cassava flour. Um, just going to do this. You can actually mix the dough yourself using your hands, you know. I prefer to use the machine because I wanted to use the machine first because I wanted everything mixed really well, yeah? So I'm going to get a bit of more flour and just add it onto there. And just make sure that um, it is almost like the way you can make chapati.
Okay, so now I'm just going to check and see if my cooking oil is ready. So I'm going to put in a tiny bit. Ah, okay. So it's ready. So I'm going to get my pancakes slowly right here. Put it onto there. Kabbalah gala, Kabbalah gala. <laughs> I am proud of myself. I am super proud of myself. This is actually the first time that I've made this on my own. Usually when I make this at home, I, either my mom is helping me or my siblings are helping me. But hey, guess what? Kabbalah gala. If you want, you can add a bit of um, whipped cream. If you want, you can add a bit of sprinkles. It depends. I mean, you can do anything you want to do. Ready or not, now is my time to shine. Hey, after cooking this, I'm sure Fairway is going to hire me. Oh, man, I, 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 fear, I fear for my life because it's still hot. But here we go. Is amazing if you're looking for a meal to have early in the morning late in the evening with a cup of milk a cup of coffee a cup of anything if it's just a snack you want to have kabbalah is the kabbalah is the right thing that you need to actually eat mm -mm. i hope you're able to pick a thing or two in case you'd like to actually know how to make this and you've been you've not been able to get all the ingredients all you need to go all you need to do is go to my twitter platform that is shiva naoma 90 and i'll be letting you know on the ingredients and how best to make it but also if you're having a pare and you want kabbalah gala just give me a call holla at me and i'll be your chef for the day otherwise that winds up what we had for you today on the wellness segment good morning and don't blink